Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. So in the last episode, we got this, a legendary bounty. And all, quote unquote, it requires us to do is to complete the objective Hunt the Guardians. So that is exactly what we're going to try and do. I have one other skill point, which I'm not going to use because I'm saving it up for bigger and better things. I need to make this and then I need to go ahead and make some sort of seal. I'm pretty sure that this is a seal of the Executioner. Should be pretty easy to make, so let us go ahead and do that. And I need to go ahead and do this stupid, weird, annoying thing that I don't understand why I actually have to do. But it's something that I have to do anyway, so I need to do that, then I need to go here, and then I need to do that, and then I can go ahead and then I can pluck this back up because that no longer matters, and then do something like that's not how it was before, but I'm gonna put this here. That there and boom now I should have yep see there we go now I have access to everything else it is so weird if anyone knows why this happens please let me know down below in the comments anyway that's the copper sorted now I need slime of which I have plenty and I need deep slate of which I do not have plenty and I can make it from an ignis extruder uh this is where actually having the thermal mod would actually be useful because I'm pretty sure the thermal extruder is useful for farming basalt, cobblestone, stone, blackstone, deep slate, deep slate. So I could make like four of those, f six? I think six of those that I would be sorted for those materials. Oh well, I should probably stop complaining because all I have to do is grab this, eat a little bit of cooked vault steak, head on over to this, go to the big cave, hold down my vein miner button, and then mine, mine, mine a little bit more, mine some more, mine some more, mine some more. And use the warp stone to get back home, which is on the next page. And then boom, I have more deep slate than I know what to deal with at the moment. Next, I need some sort of leaf. I mean, this is a great opportunity to actually get rid of all these different leaves that I don't know what to do with anyway. Hoping that I don't know if all of them is going to count, but yeah, there we go. That helped a little bit. What I need next is some shears, elytra, and fly, land, ow, harvest. Make new shears because the old ones broke. And there we go, crystal has been crafted. Now I need to get a vault steak. I need to make this, which requires six of these. One of you. I said I said what I said one, thank you. One empty seal and then a wooden sword. Should be easy enough. Boom. And then I should be able to click this and click that and ka-ching. Ka-chang. And I forgot that that stuff is actually in there, so I could have just done that uh, way easier. Well, at this, at that, and hunt the guardians, boom. Nice. Okay, I think with that, I will be ready. Is my stuff sorted? I think my stuff is sorted. I, for some reason, am scared. Don't know what I'm scared for or about, but I don't, don't know. We're gonna go through and see what happens. Entered one horde, item quantity, huh? So what I need to do is focus only on the pylons. I'm not here for the vault itself. I'm here for the vault pylons because I need to complete this objective. I need to find five of them. Hopefully it's gonna go smoothly. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Three, two, one, let's go. I have 25 and 30 minutes. 25 minutes and 30 seconds. And I need to actually look around the room for the pylon. I'm not gonna take that even though I really want to because I just need to go ahead and look for the pylon. There's nothing in here. Uh, hmm. This may be harder than I thought it would be. Well, no pylon in here. I mean, I took a little bit of damage, but I can, I can heal. And all I have to do now is head to the next room. However, they will keep following me, so it could become an issue. Factory room, hello. This will be easy to spot the pylon. No pylon. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, next room. <laughs> oh, I should have taken this. Can I take it now? I don't know if I can take it now. Would you go away? I mean, I can regret that anyway, but I'm pretty sure that if I use Hunter, highlights wooden chests inside the vault for duration, but then I've taken Observer, changes Hunter to instead display objectives within a radius for a duration of time, re uh, duration 48. So if I hold down this, that's that. Don't know what the button actually is for. <laughs> Ability cast key. That's an interesting, okay. Okay, so run, because there's nothing here. It lasts for 10 seconds, and I see nothing, but this is an X mark room. Do I take this? No, I, I actually don't. I'm actually not going to take that, and there's going to be a while before that cooldown happens, but I think that that could be worth it. 
I do know that this ability is going to change in the next update, so it's going to be interesting. Add two minutes to the vault timer. Ooh, I'm happy about that. Didn't even know those existed. Ooh, that's living chest. That is living chest. I will grab that. <laughs> oh, there's an upstairs as well. Okay. These are more living. I will take living. Living is very valuable. Ooh. Come on, start giving me pylons. It ain't gonna be that difficult. I'm not gonna fight you. Stay on topic. Stay on topic. The cooldown is almost done. So I'll use it in the next room. Oh, pylon. Okay, good. Found it. Or found one of them. There's creepers here. Okay. That's a champion. Okay, I need to uh, use some poison here. And get rid of you. Get rid of you. That's gonna be good. Three and a two and a one and a minus one and a minus two and a minus three and a minus... Come on. Okay, this axe is actually pretty powerful on that guy. So, ooh, we'll make a chest plate. That might actually be useful. And I will take gilded chest as well. You know, maybe we'll get a key piece. Maybe, potentially. All right, let's run this. Three, two, one. Get it. That's the first one. This should be fairly easy. I mean, all the other ones I've taken so far has been easy enough. Uh, as long as I can heal. <laughs> Man, these zombies are really annoying. They're tanky. Please just die and you too just missing one ow oh how unfortunate you can't reach me oh how sad goodbye <laughs> and i used all my mana <laughs> all right moving on to the next vault room i did fight these mobs so i will grab you and i will grab you and i will grab that okay that didn't need that well that is one pylon down that only took five minutes and here's another one. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. I'm happy I didn't use my uh, ability to, like, search this room. That would have been a waste. So we can use the next room. So this is two pylons down in a moment. Okay, two missing over here. Take a little bit of full damage. I really can't heal. Don't know if this axe is going to do more damage to them. Doesn't look like... What's that reach? The reach these guys have. Die. Just go away. Thank you. Okay, drink that. Give me a little bit of regeneration for uh, 30 seconds. That's actually not bad. Next room. All right, don't think I'm going to use the search in this room either because it's a pretty open one. Uh, don't see a pylon anywhere really. Nope, then it should be upstairs or somewhere. Don't go down. Eh. Yeah, nothing here. I will take that though and you. And also... <laughs> that was a big fall. Not, a, not, not part of the plan at all. Did lead me to more guilty chests though. Next. I feel like for these big open rooms, using the search thing is actually gonna be a big waste. So I'm not gonna do that because I can just easily run across, determine if it's there or not. It's not. Move down. Take a little bit of fall damage. Go down here. Search this part. This part is a little bit more cavey, so it is doable to miss it, but not by a big much. That didn't make sense, but you get what I mean. And I can get out of here. Next room. I'm missing three pylons and I have 18 minutes remaining. This may not be doable. Okay, for this room, definitely gonna go ahead and use it. Nothing here. And I should have done it somewhere else where I could have easily... Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone upstairs and down... Oh. Not... Okay. Not... It highlights those things. Well, that's weird. Display objectives. But I thought it would be the vault objective. Gilded living ornate coin. Okay, so it's not even do it's not even doable to do what I wanted to do. Okay, and now I dropped my sword and I don't know where. There we go. Okay, so I literally have to search manually. I can't use that thing. Okay. Well, this room would be a fun place to have it. However, I am not gonna go ahead and search underground for it. Oh, that's the third one. Right in the center where we like it. Seven of these guys to get rid of. This should be easy enough, all things considered. Get rid of you, three down, and this will very soon be four. And if I can stop getting ping pong, five and six and seven. Just two remaining, and I have 13 minutes to find them. And also, I think I automatically get sent home when they are completed, I think. Got some extra speed from a pylon. That is beautiful. Some of these rooms have like multiple layers to them. It is so much. 10 minutes left. That leaves 5 minutes per pylon. That approximately took me like 1 minute, maybe 1 minute 30 seconds to search that one room. Which is not ideal. That's my portal room. Not ideal considering that I haven't found the last two yet. 
That means I have like at max 10 rooms to search. Which I don't know what the odds are of finding the uh, the pylon, but uh, I'm worried. I just want to find it in the middle of a room like this, you know? That would be great. I mean, I don't know if the hunter thing is actually maybe going to work anyway on those. Maybe it's multiple objectives, like including those things. I don't know. I went too far down. So I guess it is worth me trying to use it anyway. Then again, will I miss something because I see it not picking up anything? I, I don't know. I guess I need to try and find a pylon and then try it on that pylon to see if it lights the pylon up. Ah, there's one. There's one. Okay, so I don't have time to waste, so I'm not gonna test it on this one just now. So we're just gonna get rid of this. And boom. Okay, one pylon remaining with eight minutes to spare. I think that I like those odds. Another one of these. Wow. Imagine if the pylon was in this one. That would make life very easy. Another desert mark room thing. Again, imagine if it was in this. That would be great. Could it be below? I don't have time to search. I, it could be below, maybe. But if it's uh, a bad one and I have to deal with mobs and whatnot, that's going to steal a lot of time away from me. I also need to lay space for if I don't find it, I need to be able to get home. But I am kind of banking on be being able to. Yep, that is, that is the final one. Oh, man. Never mind. It's not that little piece of... Wow. That tricked me so much. Wow. I am not happy with that. <laughs> That's so uncool. It's like the same particles and everything. That's not fair. Ruining my hopes on it like that. Come on. Four minutes. Four minutes. I'm gonna switch up really soon and head back to the portal. So I think everything will work out fine either way. But come on. One remaining. Seriously, that's all I'm lacking. I, again, I thought that would be it, but no. We need to check the upstairs real quick. Extra item rarity, that's not what I need. Extra vault time would be great though. All right, this way. Less than four minutes now. It is still doable. Still doable. I just need to search mm, quicker. <laughs> I need to search quicker somehow. I don't know how I can possibly do that. Because being less thorough also means potentially missing if it's there. But here it is definitely not. Don't waste time on anything. Oh, wow. Hello. Uh, if it's out here, brilliant. Uh, don't know if it can be inside the building. I'm not going to search it because that would be a lot of time wasted if it's not. I also don't know if only exactly five spawn or if multiple spawn and it's just rare to actually see them anywhere. Oh, man. Less than a minute. I'm gonna need my kiwis, I feel like. Come on, please be here, please be here, please be here. No, no. <gasps> no way. Right there, right in front of me. Right there, right in front of me. Don't fall in those holes. I'm gonna eat some of these so I have a little bit more time. I just need to be very, very careful with my health. I need to reserve mana for when I need to heal, which is now. I am out of mana now and get rid of you and i think i've done ladies and gentlemen i think i've done it i just have to get rid of you which is down here i need to be careful drink this real quick don't know where you're even hiding there you are uh can i like get you without there we go vault completed let's go <sighs> ladies and gentlemen we did it i think hopefully uh there was a lot of chests that i wanted to loot but couldn't <laughs> man Wow, bounty complete. There we go, 33,000 XP. We completed the vault. Let's, let's go place this here. Go here. Let's go ahead and claim our reward. Look at that. Uh, complete hunt the guardians. It, th does that mean I need to? I need to do it again? Oh dear. Okay. Well, we 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 got this. We got this, and I am very very happy for it uh let's see i'm very i haven't done the jewels by the way but i have a plan i do have a plan for the jewels and i think we'll do that today i do want to see this chest plate though it's better it, it with armor it just doesn't have the same coolness factor i don't know if maybe rerolling the prefixes a couple of times like i would really really like the that's a good mana regen but then i don't have health and i don't have the 
thing. I think I, I don't really want to work on it. I get 33 mana, which is pretty good. That's also really good armor. Like, I, I don't think I'm going to waste any more resources on it. I'm, I'm just, nope. Nope, that probably was painful to watch. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I did get, I actually did get quite a bit of knowledge from the few things that I actually got. Let's see if this will be any good. Nope. And while that's emptying, I suppose we can disable the magnet, eat this, and take this. So this, I think, I feel like something's missing. I mean, we got 27. I, I feel like there was more to it than this. I could be wrong, and I probably am wrong. But I mean, we did, we did get one of these. Can we use a modify? Okay, reset the crafting potential. Also do have this axe, which is meh. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we get from this then. Let's take a look. Uh, ooh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add another chest here because I still need to get rid of the jewels. Uh, that is scrappy, don't care, wand, wand, axe, yeah, don't care for any of it. Okay, well, I think that that was both successful and also very interesting, to say the least. I wonder what the next crystal is gonna be. Uh, I mean, that's doable, but I think we really, really need a solution for these jewels, which I think is next. All right, it's time to finally get all these annoying jewels under control, because there are just too many of them. I can't keep track. We need to sort this out, and I think I have a plan. First, though, I do need to go ahead and make another elevator just like that, and I'm pretty sure... Did I? I just made one. I think, or maybe I didn't, maybe, maybe I didn't and I was wrong. Oh, well, I need a perfect Laramar. I have wool. What I need next is chromatic iron, which is this, but I need more. So I should in this just be able to do this and then do that and just make a whole bunch of this. And a whole bunch is apparently seven, which is not a whole lot, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it. And I think I have what I need now. So if we go down here, my idea is to make a little bit of a dual basement. And I'm just thinking where to actually place this elevator. I guess I'm, you know, doing my tools here. So I guess maybe digging down here, making a small space uh, for jewels in this kind of thing is going to be good. And it turns out I need to go down one more so we can have a custom ceiling as well. I don't know how big I actually want to go ahead and make this. I mean, it is just a storage for jewels. I'm thinking maybe something along these lines. So if we go ahead and place our elevator, so that is one there. This is going to get very dark. And here, and then whoop, and whoop. Yep, I think that's going to work. Do we have some sort of lantern? We do, however... Oh, we have silver lanterns? How do they look? They kind of look cool, actually. Uh, I was gonna maybe just use some some of that, however you pronounce that, but I think that I'm gonna use these. And I'm also going to need the special tool. This thing, the trowel. Because that will allow me to place blocks randomly, which we want to do for the ceiling. And I think maybe a lantern there, and then another lantern over here. I want it to feel like a basement. There we go. Now I just gotta replace the wall and also the flooring. And I need to replace the walls, place some more lanterns. And there we go, completely installed. Now what do I do? <laughs> I think I have an idea though. Never mind, you can't make stairs out of this. Okay, uh, can you make stairs out of this? You can. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do that. Do I have item? I do not have item frames. But can I make item frames? Don't know how many I can make and also don't know how... Okay, uh, that was it apparently. I can make 17 item frames. Okay, that's good enough to start with. Now I need a lot. And I mean a lot of either chests or barrels. But I think I'm gonna go with chests. So probably making a bunch of vault wood right from over here is probably going to be the easiest way to get a lot of wood. And yet again, I forgot that the drawers are actually connected to the system, so I can just make a ton of wood like that. Boom. Now I can go for chest and go here. And I can go to here and I can make like a stack. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> and now I was thinking that we make one chest per jewel. So one for axing, one for vanilla immortality, one for soul down. And this is basically going to make it a lot easier for me to actually build tools, you know. I'm thinking to chop out this bit right here and this bit and then this bit and then this bit place stuff here have double chests like this need to break this in order to access this and this space needs to be open then i place stairs like so oh i do need to okay yeah i need i need to change all the visible blocks because that's gonna just be annoying to look at i just accidentally vein mined all this and look at that that's a cave I'm just gonna take some torches real quick and uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Because this could be where I keep hearing skeletons and zombies from. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at all this. This is where bad guys are hiding in my base. I'm actually really happy we found this because uh, I can now get rid of this because it's annoying to have. <laughs> there we go. That should be enough. And so I think we just, uh, well, this needs to be changed. Actually, this entire floor needs to be changed. So the chest is going to be here, the chest is going to be there, that means this can be cobble, this has to be vault stuff, vault stuff, vault stuff, and technically we won't be able to see the ceiling of it, but vault stuff. Now we go ahead and remove this vault stuff, place the chests, replace vault stuff, place stairs like this, and I could turn these iron frames into glow item frames, that might look a little bit cooler, or can I even turn them into invisible? Ooh, glass pane. I feel like I need to do that. However, I don't have that much glass. Do I have sand? I don't have that much sand. <laughs> uh, hmm. I mean, if I had pulverizer, I could pulverize stuff like this, but uh, nope. Well, I mean, there's a beach there. It's not like we have... There's a desert over there and desert over here. Which means if I go ahead and grab you, grab you... Then head on over here to the swamp, sigh. It means I'm now here, and if I just head in this direction real quick, there's plenty of sand right here. Enable magnet and chop away. Yeah, I think this should be good enough for now. Boom, 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 boom. And catching, that's enough. And now I should be able to do this and this and boom, yes. And we actually get double? Oh wow, okay, well that solved a lot. We place these here, and then that's space for five jewels. Now I just need to do the same thing on the other sides, and I'm hoping that five chests are going to be enough on each side, so that's going to be 20 chests in total. And if it's not, we will just go down another layer and basically do the same, but underneath these chests. So I think it'll be all right. I mean, I could include these as well, but it kind of looks nicer without including those, so I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. I can do it if I feel like that I'm running out of space <laughs> or don't have enough uh, for all the jewels. All right, replace all this with vault stuff, chests, stairs, glass panes. Awesome. And that is this side sorted. And just uh, like that, the room should now hopefully be completed. Look at this. I'm happy with that. Now I can go ahead and deposit all of this. And now all I need to do... <laughs> All I need to do, oh, it's like nothing. I need to grab one of each uh, jewel. And then, I, to begin with, I'm not going to take ones that are flawed or like have double. I'm ha gonna have to figure something else out for those. Like the perfect jewels as well, pretty cool. Durability, I need one for durability. Coin affinity already do not have one of those. Yeah, th this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> What am I going to do with the flawed ones? I guess I'm going to make a chest with the flawed ones. And I need to be critical. I need to be really, really cr uh, critical. Because I just don't have space for all of them. Oh, well, I can have space for all of them. But there are a lot of them that I'm not going to be using. And some that I probably won't even want. But I feel like I have probably most of it. Take some of these affinities. And I think we're going to start off with these. As I think this is the majority of them. So question is, I think I want to have things like affinities separate. So like maybe they will be over here. And I really wish text would show up, but I wonder if I can do that if I use an anvil. Like if I go in here and I say a wooden affinity. Nope. Wooden affinity. If I name that using a level and then go down here and add that to here. 
yeah, I'll be able to look at it and see immediately what it is. So I think I'm going to have to do that for the rest of these as well. I just want, yep, an ornate affinity. I think those are the, I need, do I have coin? I do. I'm missing a gilded affinity. There we go, gilded affinity. So this is going to cost some levels, which is unfortunate, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. There we go. That's all the affinities done. Coin affinity, living, wooden, ornate, and gilded. Look at that. That's pretty good. So when I want to make a tool, just go here. Living affinity, I need one of those. I want an affinity, ornate affinity. I want maybe soul or something else. That's going to be cool. So I think next I want axing, picking, shoveling separate because they kind of define a tool. Maybe we'll add durability to this mix as well. Then I want things that enhance a tool specifically. So things like reach, smelting, uh, mining speed, I guess trap disarm chance is another good one. Soulbound, I think I'll mix with this. And then you have things like item rarity, item uh, quantity, and copiously. And I guess vanilla immortality can go onto this as well. And I think that's a pretty good organization right there. So I need to spend a lot of levels and use a, an anvil. I'm just going to go ahead and make another anvil because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be <laughs> running out of uh, anvil very soon here. And uh, there we go. The final jewel has been named. I'm now at level 76. <laughs> oh dear. So I think I'm going to put copiously here, item quantity and item rarity over here. I don't know. I feel like there might be more over there. So let's put trap disarm. Mining speed, smelting is probably my least favorite one. And there we go, put those there. And then this, and surprisingly, my anvil didn't actually break. So that's good, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> bad. Put shoveling in there and then put durability and soul bound. I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm actually loving this. And I didn't need to place my anvil. So now I can go ahead and take all the jewels that are not double and only have one suffix and put them in their right place. And then I will need to figure out what I do with the flawed ones afterwards. Like this one, it's a good one, but I don't know. Is that I guess I need to pick which one of the of the suffixes that I will value the most. So if it's like this one, okay, I'm definitely going to take this due to its coin affinity, then I'm going to do that instead of the reach, for example, maybe I don't know if that's how it's going to be the best way for this one. For example, I don't even know if I want this some of them I will need to sort out as well, because I won't be wanting shoveling on that. Uh, maybe I can remove one of them or something. I don't know. But let's go to mining speed, then we can put all of these mining speed ones in here, not the reach, and I can sort them as well. I know I have one gilded or uh, gilded affinity. I have a bunch that are item rarity. We can put shoveling in here, item quantity, all of these, wooden, durability, picking, vanilla immortality, reach, cope, and trap to sound. And I'm basically just going to do this for all of them. So stay tuned. I will be right back. What even is this hydro void? I'm going to wait with that. That's just weird. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be back once I've done all of these. Be right back. Okay, finally, we are getting to the final stretch. I'm going to start moving stuff in here because then I can actually start getting rid of some of these uh, chests that we definitely have to. I didn't even... Modify workbench. I see that was buried be uh, behind chess. I didn't even know that I had that. <laughs> that is so not cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we still have quite a few, but all of these are jewels that are like chipped and flawed. So this chest needs a different kind of organization. Um, right. What do I do with these? Because like there's really, really good ones in here and like they're good in the sense like that they they each have like I guess I need to go through what has what so for example living affinity boom this goes there mining speed I guess this would go there but some of these I don't even know where I would put them or if it's even some that I would use coin affinity that can go there but like yeah I don't <laughs> uh, like I mean for this one I would definitely use this for pulverizing this for pulverizing as well so I guess I need to go through and organize them that way like that's really good but do it does it go into coin affinity or living affinity i need a different chest for really good ones like that and i'm not going to add mining speed and smelting unless i'm going to add smelting so this can go to smelting and then i think 
So that is how that is going to be organized. Like that's going to go to smelting. These are coin affinities, so they can go in here and I'll be like, oh, what does that have? Okay, yeah, I want extra reach. I can add that to there. I think that is the best and also the only way of doing this. And I mean, thankfully, we only do have these. So coin affinity, I'm going to go if it has affinity, like ornate affinity, definitely. Uh, mining speed, that's going to go to mining speed. This is going to go to pulverizing, mining speed. Picking because I'm not gonna add durability and picking, shoveling, mining speed definitely, mining speed, uh, durability I think this one I don't even know, uh, mining speed, mining speed as well, all of that. Oh man! <laughs> so even though this has pulverizing and a really good mining speed, it's gonna go to pulverizing because I'm not gonna add mining speed and then get pulverizing as a side effect. If that even makes sense. Okay, I mean, that's another chest gone. Add these to trap disarm, mining, wooden. Oh boy. Okay, I've managed to boil it down to these, and some of them I'm not even going to keep like this one, even though it's a good one. It's an 80 size, and with the standard that is in place now, with like the small sizes, I'm not gonna go for that. Um, so I just need to find homes for these, basically, and I mean, some of these that have two that are really good, I think needs chopping. So it goes down to whatever survives, basically. So this one, again, I'm rarity and copiously. Chop it down, chop it down. Copiously won the battle. Another durability one. Smelting and item rarity are not going to work very well together. So chop, chop, item rarity, boom. Uh, mining speed and then trap disarm chance and smelting again is not going to work very well. So chop, chop. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that finally, for the first time ever in my Vault Hunters world, I don't have a chest filled with jewels that are not organized. Honestly, making a new tool now is going to be so fun. Just being able to, okay, I get copiously and I go through and see what the options are. I love this. I'm so happy that I did this. Now I just have the issues of focuses, but I guess I could just leave a chest with those. I need to sort like old tools like this it needs to go somewhere else. And now that I have the storage system, I suppose just um, adding it to that is going to be cool. Just that I can always search for it. Yeah, yeah, that works. And I think I'm just going to do the very painful thing of this. And where did my chest go? Please give me my chest. Oh, come on, I threw it. Like, I very rarely use these focuses. Can be used to modify vault gear, reforge all prefixes and suffixes, guaranteeing health. I need to start using these when I get, like, higher tier armor, I think. Also, I haven't taken a look at this in a while. We have all platinum. I mean, honestly, it's cheap, so I'll take it. I could get a jewel, but I don't think I need more jewels. I'll take a knowledge star. I'll definitely take a knowledge star. Uh, that's That was actually not a bad shopping spree. And we're able to make ourselves a three knowledge stars, so that would be four in total. So we're honestly getting close to... I mean, we could unlock thermal expansion right now if we wanted to. We could save them, get create. So we're, get, we're getting close. So I'm just looking in the quest overview, and honestly, it's difficult to continue. I mean, we need to find a treasure room. That's really what's next. A challenge as well, Vault Rock. That's another thing we need to do. Ascension Forge. I don't even know what that is, so I guess we need to look at that. I don't know when even that showed up. I thought we were stuck at this. So in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this one here. We're going to be taking a look at some of this stuff here. Hopefully we'll be able to find a treasure room very soon. I need another key because this one, I can't find a Gorgonite door. The day we find one, I'm going to be so hyped. It's going to be unreal. So I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna be looking forward to that. And I mean, we can make the Architects Vault Rock as well. But that requires us to have reputation. And currently we have zero... Uh, zero reputation whatsoever, which uh, I don't think is good, but you know, it is what it is. I will also very quickly go ahead and craft some more vault steak and add that to here because I need more food and this vault, vault steak is great. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to continue down the quest line, run more vaults because I want to do that. Today, we didn't really run much. We ran a Hunter Guardian and we did complete the bounty, so that's cool. And I'm honestly very, very happy with how this has turned out. It is great. It's going to be so fun crafting new tools. Uh, I don't know when the next set is going to unlock. Probably, yeah, 65. It's, it's nine levels from now. So yeah, that's going to be a bit. 99 vault gold to buy myself back. Ugh. 
Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and before you go, before you go, let me know down below in the comments which mod you think I should unlock next. I am leaning towards thermal expansion or create, setting some stuff up with that I think would be kind of cool. Junk management would also be really nice to have. Mixtures would be cool as well, I guess. Gonna be a while before we can get any of this stuff down here, so we're gonna stay off the production side for now. So yeah, either create thermal expansion, with like create we could make really cool farms so that get this gadget thing which allows us to load a chunk so that's stuff like that let me know what you think down below in the comments until next time though have a wonderful rest of your day and <laughs> cool and goodbye